Hi, so I would like to do a little tour with you of a typical perfumery lab uh, where uh, a professional perfumer works. So I'll show you a few little interesting features. So the first thing obviously is that we have a lot of ingredients. Okay. So this starts from A here and all these lines, all these lines, down to Z here. We have about 1500 keys. So these are all the ingredients we can create from. You have some that are very liquid. You have some ingredients that are, ex that are uh, powders, like this. And so all kinds of forms and shapes. And uh, we also have some that are very, very thick. And actually one instrument I like to have in a lab is our pliers because some bottles are so sticky, the resins are so sticky, so the powder sticks so much, that sometimes you do need pliers to open the bottle. Other things that you find in the perfumery lab are solutions. So those, some of these ingredients are extremely strong. I always say it's like the trumpet close to your ears. Uh, some are so strong, we have to dilute them. So we have solutions diluted at 10%, and then we have a lot of them, you can see. We have solutions diluted at 1%. We have solutions diluted at 0.1% and 